and welcome to Playboys. We have no idea what we're playing right now. <laughs> uh, this is Brawl Brothers. I am Scott Avarius. And I am Video Geek G. G blah, 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 blah. I am someone who can't speak I'm, straight. I'm, My I'm, name is Video Geek JT. All right. And so. we are going to play this game that we've never played before. And Scott's going to have a fun time because yeah, even though this is a, a Super Nintendo game, we're playing on the Switch. Yeah. And I have given him a GameCube version of the switch controller of a game which he have does no, not which like. i have no idea what actually what this is all i know is we want to do an, we want to do angry mode. we're gonna do angry we're gonna mode. Do angry mode so <laughs> don't, what's angry mode? i don't know what's angry <laughs> so we're on hard it's like mode. everyone's gonna be angry now including us God, that's <laughs> <laughs> you see we, we're we're already getting angry we're going back to the I'm, title screen for some I'm reason saying, that's a long ass that's a long ass load time oh my <laughs> god okay so again have let's see who uh, she looks we... like a strand. It's M. Bison. Know. All right, we're going to M. Bison. <laughs> okay. Did someone rip off the Street Fighter series here? I, I would say this is ripping off uh, Street Fighter altogether, but this isn't the Final Fight series either. So this is ripping off everyone. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Bison. Oh my God! Is this or Vega? If you're if you're a purist. So we are going to bridge, Bayside and Dream. <laughs> so is this? So what is it? Is this like a, f a fighting game or is, is it? I, I ha my guess it's going to be a beat 'em up. Is it a yeah, beat 'em up? Right. No, so it's a side scroller. Right. Yeah. All right, there's. A like you did a fireball though. Oh, it's a beat 'em up, <laughs> and you're by yourself. <laughs> All right. So good luck. God, this is bad. <laughs> well, at least he can shoot his own guys. That's awesome. Oh. What the hell? Oh my God, this is not good. Oh jeez. All right, so I just picked up a skateboard. I don't know what the hell you picked up. I have no up. idea. I just love the fact that I think this week we wanted to not do the beat 'em up games, and yeah. somehow we randomly picked a beat 'em up game. Oh yeah. boy! Because it's more of a. I have no idea what the hell I've gotten. Why M Bison is now in a, you know, it's, final it's fight flamboyant M Bison. <laughs> and now angry. Oh, there's, there's angry mode. Okay. I'm angry. Yes. You can tell. Hi, angry. I'm dead. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> He's right. just waiting off screen. <laughs> Slash versus zero. Speak you know what Super Nintendo had a lot of really right. crappy games for it that it like really you never did. heard of. Did you ever play the uh the D C game that came out? Just uh Justice League? No, I remember they did have a Super Nintendo one though. Yeah, well, this, the one I'm talking about is a fighting game. It's in the same uh, stance okay. as Street Fighter you're, you're and Mortal Kombat. You're not talking about Mortal Kombat one, are you? No, 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 like, no, 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 and that it, you know, as a kid, I loved it, and I just played it again maybe a few years ago, and what an awful game! And that you're was. like, this did not age well. No, not at all. <laughs> it aged as well as the Romna One Half Fighting Game. Oh, I actually had that. You you owned it? I did. I I only played it on the uh, emulator. You're gonna oh, die. Oh, good. So this is like basically River City Girls all over again. <laughs> yes, as I said before, we're back to another fighter. Well, I don't know. How, <laughs> this may be a one off. I think. Oh, slash. Uh, yeah. But oh, I... hey, chicken. Get the chicken. And you're dead. <laughs> oh, bollocks. That's, that's what happens when you don't get the chicken. Um, what? Okay. <laughs> Do you, you, get, you get to, you get guess, to choose where you guess, yeah. spawn? Uh, but yeah, I did actually have the Rama one, which Rumiko Takahashi, who uh, was the author of Rama, was like, yeah, you're... She, I think she cut, she shut down the. Uh, that's a light bulb. Something. So that wasn't even food. That was a weapon. It was a weapon. Yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ. Jeez. Uh, but yeah, she shut down the sequel that was supposed to come out in the U.S. because she hated the voices so much. Really? Yeah, she was absolutely pissed off as hell about the voice, and they were garbage. They really were. Uh, I did end up getting the second one, uh, which had the proper voices. It was a good game. It was you know, typical SNES fighting game, not on the level of. Uh, you know, anything's you know Capcom related, but enjoyable enough. Yeah, uh, you know what? Uh, I just got like recently. I hurt my back, and yeah. I was kind of out of commission for a few days. So I caught up on my anime, and uh, Netflix actually has a really cool show called High Hot. What was it? I might be uh, incorrect on this, but I believe it's called High Level Girl. Okay, and it's basically about a. It's not even really about the girl. She's kind of a 
she's the na- title character, but she's kind of she doesn't talk or anything. She's the uh, attraction of the main character. But they're both uh, like these purest video gamers from the early '90s. And I'm again. I'm sorry. Continue. Basically, it was like reliving my childhood to a certain degree because it's this kid who's super into video games. He's going from, oh, look at all these games coming out. Smat, uh, Street Fighter's coming out, and now Turbo Edition's <laughs> coming. Out. And it's just it's it's time lapsing all these video games and how much he loves playing them as time goes on and getting closer to this girl and mm-hmm. all these other people with, just through video games and uh, all the uh, the advancing technology. They they actually had a few episodes talking nothing but about Turbo Graphic sixty four. Nice, I had one of those too. I I did not. I I remember my cousin having one and never seeing it ever again after that. I had it. Uh, yeah, because I got it for Christmas nineteen ninety two. My parents and I split the mo- uh, the cost of it. <laughs> well, because, because I really wanted to play Ease. Well, was, fun, was, wasn't it one of those though. like. Uh, really expensive video game systems that didn't really go anywhere. Like, it failed fairly quickly. It failed in the U.S., yeah. Uh, in Japan, it did pretty well. It did? Yeah. Uh, the okay. PC, PC Engine did really well over there. But here, it was just... It just geez, uh, but yeah, it just never did well over here. And eventually, I think it just, it just lost when... Especially when, like, the uh, Sony PlayStation came out. Now what, now, what was the big appeal of the TurboGrafx-64? It was the first CD system. Didn't so, I remember having cards in it? It did. Well, the Turbo Graphics had had uh, the cards, or the, uh, the chip cards, but the uh, CD. Oh, okay. Um, did you die? No, actually, I did not. <laughs> you just fell to the I river. Just fell, fell into the river. Just keep going. You know. Um, but it had it actually had CD and voices. So the first Eastgate game, East game, uh one and two, the voice cast was huge. So it had like Thomas Hayden Church, you know, from like Wings and Divorce and Spider Man Three. It had Jim Cummings, who's the voice of pretty much so many different characters <laughs> out there. Uh, Alan Oppenheimer, Michael Bell, who were like Voltron, things like that. Debbie Derivary. It had like so many big name voice actors in it. And it really showed. It really showed. And it was a phenomenal game for its time. Still holds up really well. And the music is, is really holds up well, too. Then they came out with East 3. And you had all this quality voice talent, you know, and these high level people. And I think some of them won Emmys and Oscars at this point. And then it went to like some student production back of a closet kind of a thing <laughs> and uh okay you are Ta-da! dead <laughs> well that went really well right. don't you think insert another quarter uh, you uh, should you are you not able really what's that hit, hit start yeah no, i'm trying to pick a guy uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna oh oh you're some, picking a different guy i was picking a different guy and i ah oh, there you go you got uh ken on steroids i got lord I am bored. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All righty. Uh, do we have a boss battle? Nope. Nope. Yeah, just, just more other uh, stuff. Okay, so actually you can... All right. So you pick it up, but you have to actually use it as an item to get your get your power back. Okay, so so can you use it as either a weapon or as energy? Yeah, so if you want to throw a chicken wing at somebody, <laughs> you can see what it looks like. Nice. <laughs> But yeah, the turbo was, you know, like I said, it had some really good stuff on there. And the voice voice acting was phenomenal. Did you time. have the CD-ROM? I did. Because I bought the turbo duo, so I could do both. How much did that cost you? It was like 200 bucks back then. Oh, really? Yeah, I, I thought two, it was two, two, more 50, than maybe, that. Maybe it was 300 I don't remember. But I remember getting it for Christmas and being so excited about it because, you know, I had the Super Nintendo a year prior. And it's like, you know, I need a new system now. Because when well, you're a kid, you don't really think about it. Either. I thought that system was actually older than the uh, Super Nintendo. It was. It predated, I think it was 89 or so. But the CD system came out in 90. And then when they had the Turbo Duo, they had it all as one unit. And that's where, like I said, you could play everything. Yeah, you know what? I think I fell out of video gaming to a certain degree around that time. Like the, the 94, 95 period where okay. like it just got crazy with the hardware. Like Genesis, where it had like you can buy the Sega CD and the 32X. And I had both, and I'm not proud yeah. to say that the CD <laughs> was good. The 32X was less than good. Well, it was just the cartridges with a little more power. Yeah, and that's really what it boiled down to. But the problem was the CD required two outlets, so you had to have one outlet for, or uh, I'm sorry, one uh, AC adapter for the Genesis, and also one for the CD player. Oi. This, yeah, I think this is really going to be a one-off here. <laughs> run away! Run away! <laughs> but, 
Yeah, like I said, the voice acting was, like I said, really on point. And then they came out with the second one, or East 3 in this case, and it was just like garbage. I'm just... I'm just watching this and yeah, like yeah, this this <laughs> this does not hold up well. No, though I had lured. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not understanding. This was one. Of, this is actually one of the uh, Super Nintendo Nintendo Switch choices. They haven't. They've been having some awkward choices in terms of Super Nintendo games. Well, it's like, probably. Well, go ahead. I, I'm like as a person who uh, grew up with the Super Nintendo, I figured they'd have a lot more classics. Well, it's probably a money thing. You know, but, I have a feeling this game was probably not so, sold well back in the day. Yeah, what, what's next? Are they going to release Last Action Hero on this thing? Did they have that? Did, was there any? any there, yes, and it was god awful. I, that, that's the first time I realized they make bad video games. Well, <laughs> I realized that pretty much right away. Well, uh, yeah, I, I, you when, know, when I bought the Muscle game for for Nintendo. Well, it's funny. Uh, I did the one other awful Nintendo game I played as a kid huh? was uh, the Ghostbusters Two one. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. And that, and it was awful, but, you know, it, it didn't really hit home with me. Last Action Hero was the first time I actually tried to, like, legitimately beat the game, and I, it was very much like how James Rolfe felt in the uh, uh, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde yes. uh, thing. It's just like you can only get to a certain point before you die because you have no hit points and you can't avoid enemies. Awesome. Was that LJN or was that Bandai? Uh, LGN. Oh, okay. Ah, uh, LJN. Now, I don't know any games by uh, Bandai. Um, well, let's see. They had Muscle. I remember that because that was the, one of the first games I ever bought. You know, the little action figure characters. They decided to turn it into a wrestling game that really sucked balls. <laughs> um, they had... Oh, they had the first Dragon Ball game. Really? Yes, yeah, so it was called Dragon Power. <laughs> and it was bad. Oh, all what? right. <sighs> All right, do we want to try a different game? Uh, well, wait till I die first, because I think we're probably close on time. Yeah, we're close on time. And we're, we're at the 10-minute mark. All right. Yeah, I'll wait till I die one more time, which will probably happen very soon. We had a video last week, or last time, go like 15 minutes. So I'm not too concerned. <laughs> but, but yes, I'm, you know, unless you really want me to continue this, you know, let me know yeah. in the comments if you want me to do like a full run-through of this, you know, seven or eight parts, 10 parts, 12 parts. <laughs> Yeah, it's like everyone who tunes in, like, oh, look at the latest game that came out, and we're playing fucking uh, old school side scrollers yeah. and beat em ups. But that's wax nostalgic to it. That's why Cobra Kai was so popular, I think, to a reason, to a point. Yeah. We just call us the Retro Boys. Y you know what? Yeah. We'll talk, <laughs> we'll talk about renaming, rebranding. You know, we'll like Puff Daddy to Snoop Dogg or. Fight. I. What the hell? Is that a woman? Is that a man? I, I can't tell. I guess I shouldn't question that though either. It's tougher to say. The, yeah. Say it's. Uh, I can't even actually read the name. A phantom. It's. That's it's phantom. Leadhead. <laughs> Le yeah. Leadhead. Phantom. And I am Lord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am the Lord of Pain. <laughs> Are you going to hurt me? Yes, but in ways you never imagined. <laughs> just start singing. Oh, God. What is that from? I don't know. Or are you just, just making shit up? I'm just making shit up. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. We'll go this way. So I want to know how fucking uh, Danny and uh, Ego Raptor are able to do this. Just crazy shit off the top of their heads. Well, you know what it is? It's possible alcohol. I know that uh, <laughs> Brennel, Brennel Floss had one for a while called uh, Game Trunks. Wait, who had what now? Brennel Floss had a Let's Play for a little while. You know, we're, remember way back uh, when you had yours? You know, we oh, there we go. I think yeah, we're going to do it. Right. Okay, so, well, that was, well. That was something. Fun isn't the F word I would use, <laughs> but, um, yeah, it was definitely a game. Let's put it that way. Yes. So. So, anyway, yeah. that, was, uh, that was our run through with that. We're actually going to find a new game. Yes. Uh, maybe another Super Nintendo. Maybe not. Like, but, yeah. uh like share and subscribe i am video geek jt and i got 79 points and scott got 79 points yes. yay <laughs> what, what, and bison got nothing and then bison got scrap so all right see you next time guys all right bye bye